Hey, this is Lucas Altstrong. In this video, I want to talk about a rod reel combo for dock fishing. This is the little bit heavier tackle fishing where we're going after big fish around structure like this in the background. You need power. Most importantly, is you have to be able to get these bigger fish away from the structure before they break you off. But also using lures, especially this is my favorite lure for dock fishing. This is the Power Prawn USA on a quarter ounce jig head. You need a rod that can, that can have accurate casts because it is crucial to be able to do a nice little skip cast and get down there near these pilings. And so this combination is the most affordable combo that I found that can get both the accurate cast with good feel of strikes. And then once hooked up, it has enough power and just overall, overall smoothness to get big fish away from structure. Just this morning with this exact combo, I landed a snook that was 38 and a half inches. It handled it great. Again, this is a smooth reel with still light enough tackle to, to get good cast and enough power to get these snook out. And so what we're dealing with here, we'll talk about the rod first because rod is always most important. This rod is the TFO Pro, uh, TFO Professional, I should say, uh, to keep it, keep it formal. And this is the 7.6 Medium Heavy. You might have seen me talk about the medium, uh, medium power rods. I still like their medium power. That's more for the lighter tackle. That's what I'm using like 10 to 15 pound braid up on the flats. And it's really about distance casting and you're not using as big a lures. For this dock fishing, medium heavy at a minimum is needed. And, and for, this, uh, for this exact type of fishing, like a, a lure about this size has been a really good combination. And this holds, at least it's recommended for eight to 17 pound braid. In this case, I'm using 15. In many cases, I'll go up to 20, even though 20 is a little bit out of its spectrum, it still holds 20 really nice. And as far as the reel, this is the BG. This is the traditional Daiwa BG, and it's the 2500. These BGs, they're bigger than, than most other reels of the same size. So the 2500 is really about the same size as most 3000s. I do have the 3000 as well, but for this type of fishing, I'm doing a lot of cast. I wanna just have as light of a reel as possible, and this 2500 holds more than enough line that's needed, and it has plenty of power. Again, th this morning, hooked into that nice snook and landed it. This reel did excellent. It was nice and smooth. This is a metal frame reel, so even though I did eventually have to tighten the drag down a little bit and get them away from the docks, there was no flexing, and again, most importantly, a very, very smooth drag, and this reel is, right, is basically at, at $100. So it's $99 for the reel, just a little bit over 100 for the rod, and so again, for having a setup that you can go out and confidently target bigger fish around structure, this has been the best overall value combo that I've found so far. Yes, there's certainly some better ones, uh, both rods and reels, but you're gonna have to pay a whole lot more money. So I just wanted to make a quick video. We have had a lot of questions come in uh, about you know, what setups to use for dock fishing. We've been doing a lot of this lately over here in uh, Tampa, Florida, there's docks everywhere. And, uh, and so dock fishing is crucial, especially during the summer months when these fish are getting up in the shade. We caught two overslot snook today and it was well after the sun came up. So if you wanna get better at dock fishing and you're interested in doing it and you need some tackle to do it, this is it. And so what I've been using is this combination with Daiwa J Braid 15 pound line. This is the eight grand and 15 pound braid is what I use today. If you're doing pure dock fishing, I would recommend going to 20 pound. So it's 15, I got, a little, I got lucky today, I was very fortunate. Normally for dock fishing, I'd be using 20. This is kind of an all purpose setup that, uh, that I have, so I, I have some 15. But, but again, solid setup, and if you wanna lure for this type of dock fishing, this Power Prawn USA, this is the original size Power Prawn USA, and this is a Haas football jig. You see it's a football shape. This does an excellent job of having a nice darting motion, and when it sits on the bottom, it doesn't twist or turn because of that football shape. And this thing has been, uh, has been just, just totally on fire. These football jigs are brand new, and this has been just a great compliment to these, uh, these, these shrimp lures that are pretty new as well. So that's it, just again, just wanted to highlight the, uh, the setup, I'll put a link down below. We actually have all of, this, all of these items that I just talked about in, at fishstrong.com. And for you Insider Club members, you can get some really big savings as a, as a value of being a member. So that's it for now. Comment down below if you have any questions, and if you have any other setups, that you've really enjoyed for dock fishing, please let us know. Leave a comment down below. We're not sponsored by any of these groups. Um, and so we'd love to, love to hear your feedback and we will not take anything down, whether it's good or bad. So thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again soon.